With a new year comes new goals. On tonight's Community Conversations with Charles Christian, Captain Sean Colley of the Buchanan County Drug Strike Task Force shares some of his department's goals for 2023. Charles. Thank you very much and thank you for joining us tonight. I appreciate it. Yeah, invitation. glad, always glad. And uh, let's get started right away. There are two big challenges I know. One is kind of ongoing and that's the fentanyl challenge, the illegal drug, but then you have a, a recently legalized drug that people are asking about too, marijuana. So would you mind just starting with the fentanyl, fentanyl issue and how, how uh, kind of what the uh, approach to that is uh, for the coming year and then, then tell us what whatever there is to know about the marijuana legalization process. Sure, with the, the fentanyl, obviously one of our biggest concerns is with uh, our younger population and starting to see it where it's, uh, you know, starting to come up more and more with them. Uh, one of our biggest goals probably is to try to get more into the schools and community events and do education and try to actually, you know, interact with the community and let everybody know what's going on with it. And so the more you know, we can get out and get the education out and get the knowledge out for everybody. Uh, we're hoping to prevent those, you know, accidental overdoses or overdoses we're seeing. Um, on, at the same time with that, we've really tried to target uh, those who are distributing the fentanyl into our area. We're working with several federal agencies and actually trying to uh, identify different sources into our area. Within the last month, we've been involved in cases that uh, have went to California, mm. uh, where people have been indicted uh, out of the Western District of Missouri, uh, but maybe from the LA area. And so they'll be brought back here uh, to, you know, to face charges here in, in the Kansas City, St. Joseph area. And so as we move forward, we're really trying to uh, try to, you know, fight the two fronts of getting the information out and then also fighting the, uh, the drug distribution on the streets. Right. Um, as far as the, the marijuana, that's probably one of the most challenging for us is because we're the uh, uncertainty in the laws mm -hmm. and the, uh, a lot of it is based on uh, who is reading that law and what their opinion is. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're trying to work with everybody on both sides, whether it's uh, the judicial side, right. but also uh, those who are involved in Amendment 3 mm -hmm. and hey, may who be a, a supporter of the uh, legalization and you know because it's it's important for us obviously to respect the rights of the citizens and to uh, realize that that's what the vote was and you know try to make sure everybody stays safe um, and yet the that the uh, the laws are being adhered to and of course we still have that issue of although at the state level it's legalized but at the federal level and depending on, on the different uh, types of laws. So we're really trying to not only educate ourselves on the law, we're trying to educate the community as well. Sure, well that's a two-fold challenge there. And you talked about getting to the source of the distribution. Uh, going to California, you mentioned Texas, places like that where you guys are having to track it all the way to the distributor, not just the the uh, sort of the band-aid is getting the people who have it now, but where did they get it, right? That's a big question. That, that's, and that's a big thing for us to try to work on. Um, for us, and in, in, in the past where we used to work a drug investigation and we would just uh, handle what is right here locally, mm -hmm. um, the problem is that somebody else would take over. Mm. And so for us now working with other agencies, the Highway Patrol, the St. Joe Police Department, and then getting uh, in, involved with federal agencies, we can try to identify the source of supply and actually try to help those other agencies provide information, you know, Chicago, Kansas City, Texas, California, and try to actually, uh, you know, work with them to, to uh, be able to identify and uh, take off those, those sources of supply. Right, now you've been with the uh, county, uh, you said over 25 years, right? And, Correct. And then uh, w with the task force uh, going on seven, it looks like. Uh, in charge that, of the task force. In charge force. of the task force, I should say. Uh, and you talk about how that uh, that process has changed. I remember as a kid, my dad was a cop, as most people know, a police officer, and he, he would talk to us about neighborhoods, like this neighborhood. But you're saying, you said uh, in other places, that that's no longer the, 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 the way that you guys have to approach it. Talk about that a little bit. And the drug trend has really changed over the years. Uh, it used to be where people would consider certain neighborhoods to be the drug problem um, or the crime problem. And for us, we're, we're seeing it. it 
it's not limited to any neighborhood. Uh, it's not limited to you know any age group or uh, race or sex. It's mm -hmm. it's widespread, and a lot of that has to do with social media. Mm. Um, you know where we used to see maybe the drug dealers out on the corners or on the streets, and the cars stopping to buy drugs. You know everything now is being done by uh, whether it's Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook of some sort, Messenger. Um, so it's kind of you know, taking itself inside and out of the public view. Mm. And so for us, what we're seeing as well is that, you know, this, the drug problem is, uh, you know, it, it's affecting everybody. Mm. And so it doesn't matter whether you're the poorest of the poor, or the richest of the rich, right. your neighborhood could be affected. Wow, and finally, just the personnel challenges really quickly, I know that, that are still there. Uh, what, what are you guys to doing right now? Where are you in that process of kind of trying to combat the personnel challenges on the law enforcement side? Sure, and the sheriff and uh, the county commissioners have done a great job. Uh, the community is very supportive of us uh, with the recent taxes that have been passed for city or county. And so we're trying to utilize that and find the best personnel. We work a lot with the academy sure. to find the best personnel for our area. Uh, to come into our community or be in our community and work with the community and get the, the people we need on the streets. All right, Captain Sean Colley heading the Drug Task Force for Buchanan County. We thank you for joining us tonight and we thank you for watching and we'll have more news after the break.